Oh yes, what's up guys? We are here, back again at Chesington for the Halloween event. Uh, we came up last year, I believe. I don't know, we might have come up last year, but definitely up the year, the year before. I absolutely love Halloween in Chesington. They do such a good job uh, with the decor around the park and the scare maze. It's got a bit of a different lineup this year. Vile Villagers are back this year. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna have a great day here at Halloween. Yeah, I've traded the uh, paint brushes and rollers today. Uh, take a trip down Chesington. Of course, if you follow me on Insta, you'll know that we've just moved house. Well, we haven't moved yet. We, we got off at a house anyway. And it was literally when we landed in Bristol Airport, coming back from Port Ventura. Um, and the house is like completely plastered. The ceilings have been freshly plastered, all the walls. So everything needs like a base coat, top coat and everything. Bloody hard work. Uh, but yeah, like I said, we traded the paintbrushes and rollers today for a trip to Chesington, Halloween, Oliver. Yay. Excited? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I've got my Costa coffee, guys. You can see because I'm absolutely knackered. Such a long drive today due to road works, basically. And yeah. Took a bit longer than usual. Anyway, yeah, join us for another vlog here on the channel, I'm guys. Scary. What? I'm scary. You're scary? Yeah. yeah, Oliver's dressed as a skeleton today. He's gonna put his uh, full costume on in the Vile Village, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so join us for another Halloween event here at Chesterton. World of Adventures, guys. Let's go. So brand new for 2023, guys. You got the Enchanted Hollow Trick or Treat. Uh, book our new Trick or Treat attraction, Enchanted Hollow. The charming residents will give you some sweet treats. Uh, yeah, uh, but beware, some do play trick tricks as well. So in book now, guys, eight pound per adult, ten pound per child. They got a one pumpkin scare rating, suitable for all ages. Uh, lo located opposite Sea Lion Bay, which is just over there. And you book it via a QR code. Yeah, we're going to check that out this year, guys. Uh, this is brand new for 2023. And of course, you've got the Vile Villagers as well returning again for this year. Absolutely love the Vile Villagers. Such a good scare walkthrough. And there's where Enchanted Hollow is situated, Oliver. Just down by there, look. Where uh, Creepy Caves once stood. Uh, yeah, it's the area where Creepy Caves uh, used to be. Uh, another scare attraction they did last year and the year before, guys. Fantastic scare it's maze. Gone it's gone now. Uh, fantastic scare attraction, Creepy Caves. Really enjoyed that. Uh, yeah, we're going to check out Enchanted Hollow later on, guys. Had a quick ride on Dragon's Fury, guys. Uh, right at the right at the gate where you board the station, it broke down. But we only waited about ten minutes, so it wasn't too bad. No, it wasn't even ten minutes; more like five minutes. But yeah, pretty good in getting the uh, the trains back up and running there. Chessy, what did you think of uh, Dragon's Fury, Oliver? Good. The good? Yeah. Oliver's first ever ride on Dragon's Fury. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, last time you came it was broken down, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, do you enjoy it though? Yeah. What do you prefer, uh, Spinball Wizard or Dragon's Fury? Dragon's Fury. Uh, yeah, very good. Yeah, nice ride right there on Dragon's Fury. I do enjoy that coaster, but I, said I do prefer it to uh, Spinball Wizard. But just a bit of a better track layout, a bit longer. Uh, we just managed to book... Uh, Mandrel Mayhem in the uh, world of Jumanji. Uh, again, using the uh, reserve and ride system, which I hate, can't stand it. But it seems to be working okay today. I'm having a few issues with it. Uh, but it seems to be working. We managed to book uh, Mandrel Mayhem. So that's what we're going to jump on now. Yeah, I love Mandrel Mayhem. Such a good coaster. Uh, it's got the longest queue here after, today. After um, Mandrel Mayhem and Miami and the Frogs. Okay. 
Yeah, man, Drew May, I've got the longest queue here today, guys. Uh, a queue of three hours and 20 minutes. <coughs> uh, the queue's not too bad today. It is a Sunday. Uh, the queues are not too bad, they're about half hour to 40 minutes long. Apart from Andrew and me, I've um, got a three, three hour, 20 minute queue time. Uh, so yeah, it's the longest attraction here in Chesterton. He's just picked up this beautiful resin. Look at that. Stunning. But there's no roller coaster on it. No, would it be nice if it was like a track going around the uh, statue? Yeah, beautiful resin, but they're really nice. Really, really nice. Ooh, pizza pasta. Nice? Yeah. Yay. Oh, lovely. They do do an El Diablo pizza here, Oliver. Yes. For Halloween, a Halloween pizza. What? Yeah, they got an El Diablo pizza here for Halloween, Oliver. Yeah. And they've also got a toffee apple crumble pizza as well for Halloween. A Halloween special. Does that sound good? Yeah, two good. special pizzas. Two special pizzas here at Pizza Pasta. Oh, and we're going crock drop, guys. Yeah, we did all the attractions in the world of Jumanji. Mandro Mayhem's running as smooth as ever. Really good. It's absolute chaos outside with its uh, reserve and ride system, mind. Absolute mayhem. Mandro Mayhem. Uh, it's absolute mayhem at the entrance to Mandro Mayhem. Just simply because of the reserve and ride, and then you got other people queuing. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, we uh, jumped on Ostrich Stampede and uh, Mamba Strike as well. So yeah, we did all the attractions in uh, World of Jumanji. Really, really good. Uh, still hate this reserve and ride system. Oh, that's brand new. That's brand new. Yeah, still not first on this uh, reserve and ride system. Just not a big fan. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna jump on crop drop now, guys. Drop, guys. So was your first ride on Croc Drop, Oliver? Good. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it, it went like... It went like that, did it? Yeah. Hey. Yeah, good ride there on Croc Drop, guys. I do enjoy that uh, it was cool. SPF Drop Tower. Unfortunately, the, uh, the spin is still not working. I don't think it's coming back. Which is unfortunate. It's a nice little element to it. Uh, it's a good little uh, feature of a uh, crop drop but as I said before she is still not working uh, plenty of mist going through the doors as you uh, guys saw uh, but we're here in Food Street as you can see you've got plenty of witches hats and bunting <coughs> we've got plenty of little food outlets got donuts nachos and corn dogs hot chocolate and brownies oh nice hot chocolate and brownies Oliver oh nice yeah not as many uh food outlets that there was last year. I'm sure they had many more food outlets there last year, but uh, yeah. Plenty of Halloween yeah, there, bro. Still not open. The boss not open. Fury. Dragon's Fury is down again, guys. I mean, they are sending empty cars around, but that's the second time now. No, third time, actually. It's broken down, unfortunately. Not the most re reliable of coasters. What, Dragon's Fury? Yeah. No, it's not. It's just constantly breaking down. I mean, last time we were here, it broke down about three times. Four times, I think, throughout the day. It's not a reliable coaster, like Ryan said, but... 
Yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, they should completely redo it. I'm not going to lie. What do you think they should put in there, please? It is, please. Uh, if they do get rid of it, um, a roller coaster. That's his opinion. Uh, yeah, while we were in the queue for Croc Drop, uh, we managed to reserve and ride Vampire. Uh, so we're heading that way now. Uh, of course, I'm going to take you in the Vile Villagers uh, in a little bit. That's back again for this year. We've reserved our slot for the Enchanted Hollow uh, Scare Maze, Kid Scare Maze, for 6 o'clock. And while we were on Croc Drop, right at the top, I noticed uh, there's some kind of like Halloween walkthrough over that end. Uh, so I'll go and check that out later on. I'll show what that's all about. And uh, we got a bit of a bush dog. <laughs> He's kind of standing on the rock, just looking at the GoPro. Ah, oh, having a bit of a yawn. He's tired. And um, we got another bush dog. Oh, look at him! They're cute. I'd love one of these as a pet. No, you don't. I would. Wouldn't you like one as a pet, Oliver? <laughs> no. They're cute. Maybe, yes. Maybe. I reckon they're pretty cute, Oliver Johnson. Maybe. Bush dogs. <laughs> no, they're the live in the bush. Oh, here they come. <laughs> here look. The live in the bush. That's right. Why are they so angry? <laughs> they look angry, don't they? Yeah. I don't think they are. That's just the way they look, Oliver. <laughs> Yeah, angry bush dogs. So we are guys off to the vile villages of wild woods. There is all. Got a two pumpkin spook right in. And then later on, start from three o'clock, we got three pumpkin uh, spook right in. Yeah, so take a walk with us through the vile villages. Vampire doing this uh, round. Yeah, it's had a nice ride on Vampire, guys. I do like that coaster. It's got a lot of history in that uh, coaster, Vampire. Here we go. Vile villagers all over. Oh. Right, we got a vile villager waiting for us already. Gonna put your mask on. <laughs> oh, oh you, you certainly look happy. <laughs> yeah, you don't look oh, 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 my goodness me. I didn't even see him jump. Oh, look at your eyes. <laughs> you see him? Oh, my goodness me. He jumped in my eye. Oh, <laughs> oh here you go. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> oh my god, brilliant! It's fantastic! Really good! Oh, <laughs> oh a couple of gravestones there, guys! <laughs> that is fantastic! That's brilliant, that is! Really good! <laughs> what? Oh, hey! Oh, hey. How are we? Oh my goodness me, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, they're all out in force today. <laughs> oh my goodness. They're all out in force today, guys. Wow. Oh, hold my hand, look. There we are.
Oh, this is brilliant. It gets better every year, though. It's fantastic. Oh, yeah. He's, uh... He's gone. Yeah, he's, he's gone. He's, he's, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beware of vampires. <laughs> that was brilliant guys, that was really 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 good. I'm not sure how much you saw uh, towards the end on the GoPro, but it was in a, like a really dark tunnel and there's a lady creeping about in there, I don't think the GoPro picked it up. That's fantastic. That's so good for a free scare walkthrough, that's really really good, really impressed with that. Uh, like it, it comes back every year, but every year they seem to get better like even the actors that first actor was crawling yeah, along know, the ground the flag, that was fantastic really really good um, obviously if you don't want that kind of scares come earlier in the day uh, when it first opens like a two pumpkin scare rating uh, but after three o'clock they kind of ramp it up a bit as you probably saw in there yeah that was brilliant fantastic absolutely loved it uh, and like like I said another good thing about that completely free to walk through so good so so good really impressed what Chesnton uh, have done uh, with the Vile Villagers keeps on improving every single year enchanted hollow. yeah we got the Enchanted Hollow to do at six o'clock uh, but that was the Vile Villagers highly recommend it really really good fantastic Put your hand in I'll check and then I'll ask you a question if you get it right you get it right you got a creepy car yeah. Got a bit of a hand, a bit of a dog. Perfect. Who wants eight? So, compared to other bats, what do they have less of? Do they have less toes? Do they have less feet? Or do they have less fingers? Oh, what do you reckon? Uh, fingers. Ooh, try again. Toes or teeth? I reckon toes. Teeth. Teeth. Yay! <laughs> well yeah. done, Roy. Right? There's a pop badge for you. Oh, yeah. oh look at that. You can cool pop the back, back in anywhere you like. And you did really good as well. Do you want one too? Oh, what do you say, Oliver? Thank you. You're very Yay. welcome. How cool is that? Thank you so much. Right. Much appreciated. Thank you. Oh, God, pop badge. Oh, look at this. We've got Wild Learning Centre pop badge. That's pretty cool, Oliver, there. Yeah. Hey, got a little pop badge, guys. Like I said earlier in the vlog, while we were on Croc Drop, we kind of noticed a little Halloween walkthrough thing, didn't we, Oliver? Yeah. Yeah. I'm quite unsure as to what it is, uh, so we're going to head over there now and, and see what it's all about, guys. Not too sure, if I'm being honest with you. Let's it probably does say on the website. Wild learning. I know, that's cool. Love those little pop badges. Uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure what it is, guys. Like I said, I saw it on top of Croc Drop. It's like... Uh, Pumpkins over there, scarecrows and hay bales. I'm not sure, it's a bit of like a food outlet by there as well, but uh, well, yeah, we're going to check it out, guys. This is what it is, guys. We've got a bit of a pumpkin patch open between 12 o'clock and 7 o'clock. We've got a one pumpkin scare eating, so it's not scary at all. A bit of a pumpkin patch, all of us. Go and check it out. It's not scary. No. Again, it's another uh, free attraction, guys, for you to. Uh, 
participate here at Chesington? Yeah, it's a proper like pumpkin patch. Nice little walk through. Oh, look, you got a Moldy's one. Got a Moldy's pumpkin. <laughs> it's a Moldy's one. Ryan, Moldy's pumpkin. Wow, look at all these pumpkins. Pumpkin patch. Hello. Coming in. Thank you so much. Are you having a good day? I am having a brilliant yeah, day. Yeah, we're feeling the pumpkin chair. Oh, 100%. Very nice. Love See, this time of year. See what you can find. Oh, I've already spotted a mouldy pumpkin. Sorry, you spotted a mouldy pumpkin? <laughs> yeah, I have. Oh, well, I think that would do. <laughs> See, behind that fence over there, oh, there's okay. a very scary spider. Really? And he's been turning all our pumpkins through. Oh, that's not good. It's not very good, is it? That's not good. I think that must be one of them's gone mouldy. Oh, it must be. I know. Thank you very much. We've got a bit of a pumpkin farm. Award winning pumpkin. Look at the size of that. It's a giant pumpkin. Oh, look at this. It's so cool. Oh, look at these. These are awesome, these pumpkins. Oh, I love these. And what have we got here, guys? We've got a bit of a, like a food outlet or have we got a coffee shop? Yeah, got a nice little coffee shop there. You have a coffee while you walk through the pumpkin patch, guys. Yeah, look at this, guys. You got some pumpkin soup on the go. Nice. Oh, Jesus. Oh, hot pumpkin soup, Oliver. Oh, look at that. Nice. Lovely photo opportunity for there, guys. Oh, nice pumpkin soup. Oh, what have we got by here? Spider. Seriously beware. Pumpkin spiders. Oh, okay. We gotta look out for pumpkin spiders, Oliver. Oh Jesus, I see him. Daddy. Yeah, check this out guys for photo opportunity. We found a pumpkin spider. Oh what a photo opportunity this is guys. Got some pumpkin spiders by there. Got a massive one by there. Yeah, really, really good photo opportunity, guys. And we got another photo opportunity, guys. Pretty cool little hay bale with a Chazzy logo on the front, a scarecrow on the top. Very cool, very cool indeed. Plenty of pumpkins. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Very good. Let's pumpkin spice things up. Yeah, indeed. He looks like he needs a bit of spicing up, to be fair. Looking a bit uh, droopy. Yeah, really, really nice attraction. Really, really good. Like I said, especially as a free little walkthrough, guys. Absolutely fantastic. Really, really well themed. Plenty of pumpkins. Plenty of little interactive uh, photo opportunities, guys. Because you've got some scarecrows welcoming you into the pumpkin patch. Very, very good. Yeah, fantastic little attraction there, guys. Pumpkin patch, if you're looking for it. Just adjacent to... Um, Croc Drop uh, by the Forbidden Kingdom. Yeah, I highly recommend it. And to come around there at night time, guys, it's got to be absolutely beautiful at night time, all lit up and everything. It's going to look really nice. So we're over this way, uh, heading on Cobra, guys. I just spotted some fire effects. I think they've got a bit of a show going on. I haven't really kept up with show times, guys. I do apologize. Uh, but yeah, it looks like I got a bit of a show on. Look at them flames. Ryan, do you enjoy the monkey swings? No. Soaking. Absolutely soaking. Hey. Look. Soaking I got, wet. I got wet on my face. You did got wet on there's your face. There's a tribe. There's a tribe. There's a tribe. Oh, they're uh, about to do another show, I think. Yeah, but we went on Cobra and we had a quick all of monkey swings. But they got the water fountains on. So I got absolutely soaking 
on the monkey swings. And now water hits you with some force and it's bloody cold. I made, I made you go on! You did. Thanks, Oliver, thanks. Bloody freezing, oh, absolutely bloody freezing. I'm wet and I'm cold. Okay, guys, had a nice little ride there on the Gruffalo. And now it's time to head into uh, our next scare attraction, which is Enchanted Village. Enchanted Hollow, Enchanted Hollow. Uh, yeah, so we booked our time off for six o'clock, guys. It is now five to six. It is now five. To, I don't know what to my voice, then. It's now five to six. A bit of a voice cracker. Enchanted Hollow. So how much was the Enchanted Hollow to book? Ten pound a child and eight, eight pound an adult. Ten pound a child, eight pound an adult. Unfortunately, we don't get any Merlin discount. There's a reindeer. Uh, with booking the Enchanted Hollow, and you got a bit of a reindeer by you. Just like chilling out. Yeah, here we go, guys. We're going to uh, check out Enchanted Hollow. I don't think I can film inside the scare attraction, guys, but I'll give you my thoughts after we come out. Nate, come rain, you're eating hay there. Ready for Santa, Oliver? Yeah. So, good news, guys. I have been given permission to fill the inside the attraction. Yeah. And you get given a little uh, little paper bag with Enchanted Hollow on it. Trick or treat. Yeah, so it's a bit uh, different from the creepy caves uh, that was here last year. Creepy Caves, fantastic attraction. I really did like the Creepy Caves, absolutely brilliant. Uh, plenty of fog effects, plenty of strobe effects and things like that, yeah. But uh, I think Creepy Caves been running for a couple of years now, it's time for a change. Uh, so they brought in the Enchanted Hollow. So yeah, uh, fortunately, I'll take you guys inside and show you what it's all about. Here we are, guys. Enchanted Hollow, trick or treat. Thank goodness you've made it. It's a long way down from up there. Where are my manners? Let me introduce myself. I'm Cindy Squirrel, and let me proudly welcome you to our town, Enchanted Hollow. As you walk through the town, you'll meet our charming animal residents of Enchanted Hollow, a whimsical world beneath the surface. We are thrilled to welcome each and every one of you here today ready to embark on a truly unique experience. You will be some of the first humans to visit this underground town. This Halloween, our locals are ready to welcome you with some treats. But beware, some play cheeky tricks too. Knock on each door that you see to get your treat. Now, before we begin our adventure together, I would like to take a moment to inform you of our important guidelines to ensure that everyone has a safe and memorable experience. Be sure to follow the path and please don't touch our residents as they won't touch you. You may experience some flashing lights and smoke effects. Please, no running and no climbing on the set or props. And please, no eating. Save those treats for later. Now, make sure you have your treat bags at the ready and let the Halloween fun begin. That's it. Follow the path. Off you go. Mmm. Plenty of room for you all, everyone. Come on in. Lovely to see you, everyone. Oh, what's this? You come, everybody. Fantastic. Excellent. Brilliant. Well, welcome to Enchanted Hollow, everybody. I am Mayor Mole. As mayor of this town, it is an honour to greet you all on this very special occasion of Halloween. And it is a pleasure to welcome you to our little town, which is tucked away beneath the surface. Now, Halloween is a time of fun and celebration. And here in Enchanted Hollow, we like to celebrate by trick-or-treating at each other's homes. So, I encourage all of you to follow the path through the town and knock on every door that you see and make sure you have your treat bags open and ready for the locals are definitely ready to give you some treats but beware some of them might like to trick you as well but don't worry everyone means well 
Now if you knock at the door and there is no answer, do not worry, the residents are probably out trick or treating themselves. So just move on to the next door that you see. Making sense so far? Yes? Excellent. Well now on behalf of myself and the town council, I would like to thank you all for being here on this very special occasion. And I hope you have a spectacular and spooky Halloween down here in Enchanted Hollow. Remember not to eat your treats until you're back outside in your outside world. Otherwise, some of our residents may want to share your treats. So keep them to yourselves, okay? Make sense? In Enchanted Hollow, let you in! Should we try, should we knock the red door over there? Are you actually dropping oh, my cheese off? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Really? Right. You want a treat from me? I might have something that you might like. Oh, the one that anyone with a brown bag could pull it, come forward. Wow. Are you ready? Get ready. Okay, are we got any more for any more? Have we gone there? We've got one. There you go. All right, brilliant. Up and out we go. Knock on all the doors, yeah? So Thank there. you very much. Bye. Oh, go knock on the red door, Oliver. Knock on that door, see if anybody's in. Oh, I feel like my beauty sleep. Oh, is that my package? Oh. Oh, 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 what have you got here? You got your trick or treat bag, haven't you? Oh, it's a trick or treat bag. Okay, I'll give you a trick. You ready? Yeah. We'll do it together. Can you stroke your ears three times? Shake your tails. Put your paws in the air like you just don't care. And then dig like a fox. And keep digging. And keep digging. And keep digging. Until you find <laughs> your hey. secret chocolate. Way. Thank you, you very much. Oh, okay. oh, <laughs> hey. Now, make sure you knock on all the doors, okay? Thank you. Oh, what about that one? Let's knock on this one. Ryan's already knocked No answer? No, I am not. Mm. Oh. Hello. Oh, oh! Some more human visitors. Hello, my name oh. is Tilly the Toad. It is so nice to meet you. Are you trick or treater? Yes. It's almost Halloween, isn't it? Yeah. How exciting that I've got my little pumpkin. Yeah, they're yeah, lovely. I love Halloween. It's Beautiful so we get to pumpkin. dress up and we get to go trick or treating. Yes. So much fresh like these chocolate for your bag. Let me see what I've got. Hang on. Oh my god. 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 Oh my
lions going a bit of a jungle area, guys. Ooh. Ooh, goodness me. Okay, guys, you got another door to knock. Looks like a bit of a flower shop. Let's go knock a door, Oliver. <laughs> oh, whoa, I got a bit of fog as well on the door, guys. Look at this. Oh, we have residents. Welcome to the flower shop. That's yeah, a beautiful flower shop. Oh, thank you. I spent all afternoon working on it. Looks like it's stunning. I don't know if you little pumpkins. They're cool. Oh, stop it. These beautiful, big ones yeah? I just need to carve now. Oh, beautiful. That's my next job. Might take me a while, though. So if you want to come back later and help, I really appreciate it. Oh, yeah, definitely. They're yeah, beautiful. Well, what are you all doing here? Um, we just got the door. <laughs> You're doing what, sorry? Oh, we just got the door. You just got the door? Like Oliver knocked on your door. Oh, you're going to read things. Oh, yes. I haven't been yet this year. I heard it's really fun because we found lots of treats. Oh, yeah. right. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I should go. Should I go? I think so, yeah. Do you recommend That's a good idea. Okay. Oh, you've been wanting chocolate then, don't you? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You've got your bag? Look real quick. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's good looking at flower shop. Oh, I've got a rabbit tail, Oliver. Oh, yeah, I did go to the chocolate shop and earlier today. Yeah. And I did buy a little bit of chocolate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you think she did with it, Oliver? I think it's in your pocket. In my pocket? Yeah. yeah. Can, can you show me? Yeah, there. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, I'm so glad you've got some eyes that work. Oh, wow. There we go. One for you. Oh, my goodness one me. I'm grown up, so I'm not going to give Oh, do we get one? Oh, thank you so Everyone much. Oh, look at that. The door over there told us not to eat chocolate, mums and dads. Oh, well, um, I don't suggest you eat it whilst you're here because some of the residents might want to eat it as well. And there is a rat around the corner. Ah, right, so okay. So I keep this safe then. Yes, right, yes. okay, lovely. Well, head on round to the post office. There might be a special dinner. Lovely. Happy Thank you so much, you too. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at Dairy milk orange. Yes. Hashtag not sponsored. Oh, what have you got for you? Oh, hang on. Oh, the police, Oliver. We've got the police. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Oliver, knock the door. Go knock the door. Knock the door in the post office. Oh, look at the letters. Hello. Oh, hello. Yeah, there, there's something going on over there. They told us to move on. I know. Just ignore it. Just ignore it. Now, my name is Rebecca, and I'm looking after the post office this afternoon. Oh, okay. you got quite a lot of undelivered mail. Right? I know. Can I tell you a secret? Quite a bit, yeah. I don't actually work at the post office. No, I'm actually just in disguise. Because <laughs> oh, right, I've been okay. stealing all of the chocolate from Cadbury's World to give to give everyone out in the hall so all that chocolate in your bag I've stolen but do not tell it's not full of leathers all of it's full of chocolate it's full of chocolate because oh. I've been stealing it all for you adventurers okay now you've got to promise me that you won't tell anybody no we promised and we I can't get in trouble again okay you've got to promise me okay. oh he's um yeah hello Beth hello Rebecca hello We've had our letters, thank right. you so much. Thank we've, you. we've had our letters. You've got your letters. Have we got our letters, yeah, yeah, we've yeah. We've got their letters. We've got my parcel, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you you over there. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> now, I have heard there's been some chocolate thievery occurring down here. Not at all, no, not at all, not at all. How do you please? Guilty or not? No, not guilty at all. What's in your bag? We're talking about chocolate, don't we on about? Uh, I got parcels. No idea. Let's see what's in your bag. Nah, give, give it a mess, Ryan. Nah, give, I'll it, give it a mess. Give it a mess. Open the bag, Adventure. Are you disobeying an officer, no. Adventure? That is very damning evidence, isn't it? How did that go? I don't know what I was doing in there. There were, there were letters in there. Did she give you it? No, no. I've been framed. 
for being praying. He's being praying, yes. Uh, good, good, good one, Ryan. Good excuse. Well done. Uh, good. Buy uh, the, the chocolate shop down there. <laughs> and yeah. you have to do some more inquiries. Read the sign. Yeah, stop. And I'm going to let you over the caution just now. So you may proceed to either the trick path or the treat path, but no loitering. Get moving. Thank you. Good day. <laughs> yeah, give it a miss, right? Someone should go down the tree path, down there. Down there? Yeah. What path? Don't you? No. Down there? No. And then there's a different path. Down the tree path. Down, yeah, the tree one, Sean, about you. Yeah, for the yeah but there's a trick one down there. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, oh, right. oh, right, yeah, down there. Yeah. Uh, down the tree path, right? We've got a wall full of lollies and stuff. It ends up at the same place. Oh, it ends up at the same place anyway. Oh. Congratulations, you made it to the end of your journey here in Chocolate Hollow. Hey, well done. Have you had a lovely time? Yeah, Puff, we nearly got arrested over there by the. Oh, did you? What did you do? Uh, it's kind of. I've been framed. Yeah, Ryan's been framed. framed. He's been framed. I tell you what to make stuff to you. Would you like one more treat? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. You're thank you. Welcome now. You've gone in the past straight up here. This will lead you back to the human world. Have a lovely rest of your day. Thank Goodbye. you very so much. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Chris Solver. <laughs> that wasn't a good thing to give you, was it? <laughs> Get him out of your bar, quick. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've daddy taking them out tomorrow, it's fine. Daddy, you're going to Josh, is it? So, cos, like, I've got to explain the crisp situation, guys. Because Oliver's autistic, he's got, like, a phobia of crisps. He absolutely hates them. He hates anybody who eats them. He hates the smell of them, he hates the look of them. He won't even go near them in, an, like, a crisp aisle in a shop. So the fact that <laughs> the lady put crisps in his trick-or-treat bag it was like stealing chocolate off him. <laughs> I'm taking him out in a while, but don't worry. Look at all the chocolate you got. Come look. Oh my goodness me, I can't see anything, you know. Yeah, that is it, guys. That is the end of the vlog here at Chesington World of Events. Just got myself a nice hot chocolate. What do you think of today, Ryan? Do you enjoy um, it? Yeah, it was all right. It was pretty good. Yeah. Um, it was a lot better than last time we yeah, came. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Oliver, do you enjoy? Yeah. Had a good day? Yeah. Very tired? Yeah. Cold? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's very cold now, guys. Temperatures really dropped. Um, but yeah, fantastic day all around today. Uh, Vio Villagers thoroughly enjoyed Vio Villagers. Absolutely fantastic. Certainly ramped it up this year. Really, really good. I, I loved it. And uh, it's so good for a free walkthrough as well. It really is. Um, also, um, Enchanted Woods, I think it's called. Hollow. Enchanted Hollow was good. Yeah. Yeah, Enchanted Hollow is fantastic. I mean, yeah, like, like you know, it's £10 uh, for an adult, £8 for a child. Um, but, yeah, it's really good. No? It's the other way around. The other way around. £10 for a child, £8 for an adult. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah fantastic. Got tons of chocolate in there. Really good interactive little uh, maze for the kids. Uh, really, really good. Like I said, you come out with tons of chocolate. Uh, ride availability today has been pretty good, apart from Dragon's Fury. Um, the reserve and ride app, I so hate it, I can't stand it. But it's worked fairly well today. Uh, so, yeah. What? What's the reserve and ride? Oh, the little app we use. But, yeah, it's been a fantastic day, guys. Happy Halloween. That is it for me, guys. Until next time, stay safe and keep on trailing. See ya.